What's going on guys? Nerdlocker.com here with some video game news for you this week. I don't think there's a cooler part of my childhood outside of like NES and N64, specifically playing GoldenEye. Seriously, GoldenEye was one of those revolutionary games and it recently came out, redone on the Wii, mm -hmm. which, let's be honest, it's the Wii so nobody cares. Yeah. But yeah. Activision is redoing it, brand new engine, brand new everything, making Yay. it so beautiful and then actual real systems. So this is absolutely awesome. Cool thing also is that not only do you get this crazy good game on great systems, there's also really cool pre-order bonuses like the one for GameStop, paintball mode. Oh, nice. I, got, I think I might go with GameStop. Oh, man. Like, Amazon's is like a skin for a gun. And then there's a couple other ones. But, I mean, it's paintball mode. Uh, who, does who cares about the rest? All I want is big what? head mode. Just big head mode. Yeah, I, I've only got two big issues that have to be addressed. One... I still want all the guns to make weird sounds when you shoot them because they never really sounded like real guns. They're like, doo, 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 doo. also, where everybody looks like they're wearing stockings over their head. <laughs> if they still look like that, they still sound like that, but just higher definition, I'm sold. I'm pretty I'm sure good. that was like crappy N64 graphics. Oh, I don't care. It still is good. I still wouldn't be able it's... to see through walls when you walk up close enough to it. You just see the whatever's behind it because <laughs> it was that bad. Yeah, so we are so excited for this. So much so, though, time for pose. So, in terrible news, apparently Farmville m might be made into a movie. This is horrible. Yeah. First, I mean, we did some trailer trash on Battleship. Yep. They've announced before that they're going to do uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon, and now it's Farmville. Seriously, these are like the most basic, no plot whatsoever games that are being made into a movie. And then you've got all these other games that like have the most amazing plots, the most amazing story, and everybody's just like, nah. Yeah, it's exactly. Like they pass up on... Uh, really great things for things like Farmville. I mean, Farmville. it's almost like, are they playing a joke on us? Really? Really? I mean, yeah. are we gonna also going to get notifications on our Facebook that um, we have to go see the Farmville movie? Type in your ticket stub and you'll get three extra barrels of hay. <laughs> like, seriously? This is I'm ridiculous. Not for this. this is dumb. I hope that it doesn't happen. I hope that someone along the way says, are you kidding me? No, yeah. we're not going to do this stupid movie. Unless... What if they do a crazy twist where it's all the movie and then you go back and it's someone playing it on their computer? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And then I would throw yeah. up. Yeah, this is such a horrible idea. I know ah. you guys are all for it though, right? Yeah. So I don't know about you guys, but I always have an issue of never enough memory, whether it's on systems, computers, phones, iPods, it doesn't matter. But Xbox 360 is coming out with a new hard drive, 320 gigabytes for $129. Not bad. Plus, if you get it, you also get a, a Lego Star Wars game for free, so not too shabby. I gotta be honest, I'm a casual gamer, so I usually don't have issues with space, and if I do, I'll just go delete stuff that like, I don't care about having like achievements saved or anything, I don't, I don't care. Um, but what is cool, uh, Xbox and Microsoft have pretty much signed a deal with a lot of cable TV shows yeah. and a HBO Go and that sort of thing, so you're actually gonna be able to use that hard drive space, sort of like a DVR. Which is such a which great is amazing, idea. amazing, and it'll just download, it, download your stuff for you, as opposed to one, having to have cable and a cable box. Again, really awesome. We reported about this a couple weeks yeah. ago. Uh, that just makes it really cool. Plus, you just have way more space for more music, more, more games, Netflix, all more that stuff. Everything. So. so this is insanely awesome. I love the idea of having one system for DVR, cable box, gaming, everything it literally is becoming a multimedia system which is it's ridiculously awesome i would like to say redonkulously awesome so comment in this box below so you remember with netflix and the whole quickster yeah raising their prices they get your dvds quick to you and then there's gonna be two sites oh netflix man. and quickster don't worry it's it's not gonna piss anyone off no no, cool no, no. Guys. everyone's gonna high be cool fives with it. all around yeah, well, uh, they realized that was the dumbest idea ever. Yeah. And Netflix is going to be staying Netflix. Yeah. No they... Quickster, no nothing, <laughs> no headache, no annoyance. Yeah, they sent out an email a couple days ago to everyone. And if you guys follow, uh, follow us and watch Netflix all the time, like most people do, um, you'll know they were kind of like, yeah, you know, people kind of just didn't like the idea of two sites. Yeah. So. Well, the main thing I didn't like about the idea was that in the email when he announced it was going to be two sites, it was so much of a, he knew how you already felt about it. And as you were reading, it's like, no, dude, it's cool. It's cool. Don't worry. Don't worry it's man. awesome. You look good. Everything's awesome. You've been working out? Two sites. New haircut? It's cool, man. It's cool. You look great. 
That's what I felt like I was reading yeah, the whole time. What it was. Like, don't worry, it's not going to be that bad. But then, like, three weeks later, before it even goes, like, before it even starts. I was just waiting. Like, I was waiting mind. to, like, go to Netflix and be like, go to Quickster. Nothing happened. Yeah, yeah, I was waiting for Nothing that happened. I, was, I wanted to see Nothing how happened. it would work. I, I kind of wish they would have gone through with it and messed around with it. Maybe, like, it could have been stuff. I just stuff, think they decided that it was too much. Yeah, like, they just, people were just way too negative on it. So. And the money and just... Two different no. paychecks, like or two different pay statements on your stuff. I just, I see most people just getting annoyed with that. Yeah, so. yeah, I would be really annoyed with that too. So uh, I guess what we're trying to say is nothing's changed. Nothing's changed. It's really no news. Netflix, Netflix, Netflix is still Netflix. It's Netflix. Hey everybody, we saw a bunch of video game trailers come out this week that we really wanted to talk about. So we're just gonna do a little quick discussion and move on. First one is. Spider-Man, Edge of Time. Edge of Time, yeah. It was actually really, really sweet. I liked it. Um, it I liked the way it looked. I'm not too stoked on it. I really feel Spider-Man games have kind of plummeted since yeah. uh, Ultimate Spider-Man. Spider-Man 3, the video game, wasn't that awesome. I yeah. heard a lot of people really like the last one that came out. The Edge, Edge of Time? Or no, the one before this yeah. one, Shattered Dimensions. Yeah, that one, yeah. a lot of people liked that It was a cool one. concept, but it, I felt it was just kind of like a ripoff of Arkham Asylum. Because you do like mm -hmm. the stealthy noir stuff, which was... Batman. Batman. Yeah. Then you do like the crazy action stuff, which is Batman. Batman. And then you do all like all the different, you know, it, it just sat, felt like that same game. They were just trying to cash in on the Batman cow. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, what I really thought was, oh, sorry. Oh, no, no, it's all right. I was just going to say, I mean, it definitely looks pretty. Like, I mean, oh, yeah, it looks, no, it yeah, looks, it looks great. good. But it's just, cool. I don't really have any desire to play it. The story's it. weird, yeah. and not too many people really know the 2099 Spider Man. Yeah. yeah. It's not that cool. It really isn't. <laughs> I don't know why they're doing it that much, but whatever. Another trailer that came out. Uh, Assassin's Creed Revelations. Ooh. Ooh. Let, let me say right off the bat, I love his daggers, like traditional daggers. Now it's got a hook, and all I can think is Sly Cooper, which I'm a giant Sly yeah, Cooper yeah, fan, yeah, and I'm like, Assassin's sweet. Creed Sly Cooper? Oh. I'm good. That's pretty I'm awesome. Good. Yeah, I haven't played too much of the Assassin's Creed games, but all my friends play them, and I watch them play it all the time. I, I actually enjoy, that's one of the few games I enjoy people yeah. watching, watching people play. play. Yeah. yeah, because it's such a great story, and you can do the quest real quick, and mm -hmm. then the story comes in. It's, it's really awesome. For me yeah. personally, that would be too many quests for me to do, so I always yeah. would prefer to watch someone else play, because they're so beautiful. Yeah, yeah. it's really, really a fun it's game. It's such a beautiful game. And this next one looks so brutal, so awesome. But speaking of some awesome brutality, we've got a special one that you love. Yeah, some Modern Warfare out. 3. Yeah, the Redemption trailer just came out. It's another, it's not a multiplayer trailer, it's not a Spec Ops trailer. It's a campaign trailer, so you get like the actual story, and there's like, oh man, oh, the crazy, looks going crazy on. stuff like sniper and dudes, and, and like, oh, it looks awesome. It looks like this fire. whole Makarov, this Makarov hunt is actually like, it's gonna come to head. Yeah. Of course, it's gonna end the story. It's the it's the trilogy, so oh, can't wait for it. Yeah, it God. looks so good. But yeah. another one that, that comes out like three days after Modern Warfare Three. I mean, we've talked about it enough. Yeah. yeah. But the. One I'm more excited for that I I don't want to buy it because I'm gonna be busy with something else, but I'm I'm glad friends are buying it. Skyrim. Oh my god. Elder Scrolls oh Five. Gosh. Skyrim. Dragons and if castles. you guys, oh my if you guys have gosh. ever played Oblivion, Oblivion looks like crap. I mean, back when it came out, it looked awesome, but this game compared to this, compared to this, oh wow. Like you see scenes of it just scanning across like a forest, and you're like, wait, am I watching like real TV? It's real or is this game. like in game? It's and in it's game. in game. It's yeah. not even like CG, like special like then, scenes. Or it's anything. not a it's the cinematic game. where it's like like more done up. It's it's all polished or anything. It's in game graphics and like, the entire world. Oh you see a mountain in the world. You, you can, can go, you can go, go on the mountain. That mountain. Really this cool. game looks awesome. You can kill dragons and then steal their powers. How is that not awesome? You're born. This, your character is born with a dragon's heart. With a, the soul. Of a so dragon, cool. so you they awaken and you like kill them and learn their powers and you stuff. You can have like fire breath and oh, ice man. breath and freeze. And I love so games sorry. like this because since they're like crazy long games, you are earning every dollar. It is worth every dollar. Oh, yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. like you play a lot. Oh my gosh, and this game looks beautiful. So if you've seen any of these trailers, definitely check them out and put in a comment about what you think because as you see, we loved them. All right, that's going to do it for video game news this week. But until next week, be sure to follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube page, as well as checking out nerdlogger.com for all your nerdy news. I'm Jasmine. And I'm Brandon. And we'll see you guys next week for even more video game news.